And I'm sure people are probably asking me, well, you know, in their heads, like, doesn't this chick have friends? Doesn't Cleo have friends? I used to have fucking friends. I used to have fucking plenty. I used to fucking chill with these people. I used to fucking talk about tarot cards and astrology and all this bullshit, okay? I had friends um, mostly on um, Twitch. So Twitch was mostly the platform where I met so many spiritual people. Um, that's where I learned like a lot about astrology from other people. And yeah, these people were as cool as fuck. But when I did my shadow work and like, you know, I did all this bullshit, like, you know, looking within, I realized none of those people were, th were worth the fuck. I'm sorry, but none of you people that, and I'm sure you still, you watch me because you're wondering like, whoa, this bitch pulled the <laughs> full on 360. Like she, she acts like she's better than everybody else because she went from fucking the psychic to Queen Cleopatra not taking shit from anybody. I don't give a fuck what you think. I don't. So I'm telling you guys is like, and those people that watch me are the ones that are like, oh, so you think you're fucking better because you ascended? No. You have to understand that I just don't give a fuck about you. And you don't, you don't contribute to my success, okay? So I'm sorry that I can't fit in your box of being just a tarot reader. Because let me tell you, baby, I'm beyond that, okay? I am fucking, God made me to be somebody very big in this world. And that's who I want to be, okay? So that's what I'm saying, guys, is I cut people off, these friends, because they weren't ready for the person that I'm meant to be. They weren't ready. And that's what's going to happen to you wonderful ass people that watch me because you're going to start losing friends because you, you all that watch me have leadership capability. You all have this capability to be just similar and in alignment with me. But the thing is, a lot of people, you, you're using your heart too much. Okay, you have to understand that Anubis teaches us like, you guys, we're talking about Egyptian shit, but nobody actually knows what it means or applies it. You have to understand that the heart and brain has to be balanced, okay? So let me tell you, you could have a loyal ass friend that's good as fuck to you. They could be spiritual, but are they ready to be on your alignment as you? Are they ready for that shit? Because let me tell you, I don't think they are. Because if they were, because let me tell you, they could be loyal as fuck, but you got to make sure they have their fucking shit together, okay? You got to make sure that these people are ready to ascend and ready to lead the world. Are they people that are not afraid to speak th their truth like me? Are there people that are ready to say, hey, this shit is fucking wrong. And do go against all odds to speak against controversial shit, even if people hate them. Because let me tell you, a good example is um, for what I recommend you guys to do is uh, check out Thaddeus Matthews. He's a cussing pastor. People talk a lot of shit about Thaddeus Matthews. But let me tell you, he's the most realest motherfucker in the Christian community, okay? Let me tell you, he's the realest one. Thaddeus Matthews, please go check him out. The cuss are known as a cussing pastor. Check him out, because he's real. And honestly, guys, you know, Christian or not, you know, coming back to this community, I just don't fucking vibe with nobody. Not because I don't like you guys or certain people, but it's like, you people need some fucking healing. You have to understand that it's beyond the fucking tarot cards you read. It's beyond all the stuff that we fucking do. Saging all that shit. Yeah, it's cool. It's additional. But what if you're attracting that negative energy? Okay? So you guys need to fucking take some inventory in your life. And like I said, I don't care. You people from the past, you hate on me. You send me negative energy. I don't give a fuck. All I'm saying is, baby, I'm not going to stick in a box as a tarot reader or be your fucking superstar. I'm my own superstar, sweetie, okay? I am my own beautiful girl. Like, some people be like, you could be a model, you could do all that shit. Get the fuck out of here. I get to be whoever the fuck I want to be. And if you don't like it, get the fuck out of my space, okay? Get the fuck out of my space. Go. Hit the fucking road, Jack. So, you know, th that's all I got to say for you guys is be aware of your boundaries with people. Because a lot of people, they just want you to be like, oh, so you're this, now. I don't give a fuck. You be you. You be the leader, okay? You do something. I'm doing something in life because doing what I'm doing, because it brings impact. To me, being a tarot reader doesn't do shit. Sorry if that offends a lot of you people that are getting tarot. It don't do shit. Yeah, you give fucking wisdom. But let me tell you, are you changing the world in a deep way by reading your fucking tarot cards? No, it doesn't. To me, it didn't. That's why I needed something deeper. So... Have a great day, guys. I'm going to be doing my own thing. Love you very much.